So we'll skip to sure. whenever. Skip to the the de- yeah. So who? But then you... obviously, if it's a new choice. So what do you want to do? Let's just do the exact opposites. Okay. Of what we've done. If we can remember that. Will it stop at the choices? Yes. Okay. That's how it's written. So this will be different dialogue then, I would guess. I think so. Let's do it. Okay. I'll go take care of the next one, guys. Catch up, okay? She goes, but Group South doesn't. They just watch. We can't focus on what we're doing or enjoy it while being watched by someone expecting something who won't say what and won't leave. Venus keeps getting distracted by the lights, and Neptune is keenly aware of the pit in her stomach. There's nothing truly ruder than denying us distraction. God. Seriously, what do you want? Nothing. Nothing. You're cool. Nothing. You're cool. He's the one in trouble. Really? I must not be, since the captain's not here. Group South stares at Venus. Venus ignores them. They can stick around if they want. We can pretend to fix the siren all night. Hey, Venus. Hey, Venus, you're taking a while. Hey, Venus, you're taking a while. Need help? No, Captain said I could do it alone. Go away. It's distracting. Don't you have somewhere else to be? Isn't Captain going to be mad if he sees you slacking off? Nah. He was pretty pissed off last time, wasn't he? We're supposed to be here. Everyone is laughing. Was laughing. It's Venus's fault. Dots. Nah, we're supposed to be here. It's Venus's fault. <laughs> God, I wish. The worst thing Venus has done is not fuck up hard enough to get us all kicked out. What is your problem? Trying to get him to do something right when you could be doing something productive like fucking up and getting us all sent home. Yeah, ask him. Yeah, ask him. Yeah, ask him. The captain doesn't like you. Hey, I don't know why he doesn't like you, but the more you try to get on his good side, the worse he'll make it for you. He doesn't need a reason. He hates it when people try to get on his good side. You. He hates it because it's like you're telling him what to do. Fuck it. Fuck it? Fuck it. That's... Venus, you have, you have to be done by now, right? Venus. Venus! Oh, yeah, I finished a while ago. What are you even looking at? Oh, it's nothing, don't worry. I'll come down. Venus climbs down from the siren, which crackles softly with the faint static of the radio again. It's louder than normal. God is already warning us. Um, Oh, what? Sorry, I didn't say her line, but... Thanks. And, um, sorry for fucking up all the time. I literally don't care. They're idiots. They don't get it at all. They're so obsessed with you. It's so weird. They hate me, though? Obviously. Is that supposed to make a difference? Does it not? Oh, God. I really wish you would fuck up so bad that even the captain hated you. It'd be a good look for you. Oh, But I don't think I actually could. Mess up on purpose, I mean. It's literally as easy as doing nothing. I know. Sometimes it feels harder to not do something than to do something. I wish I was a little more like you. You deal with this stuff so easily. Venus. Yes? You're never allowed to think I have it better off than you. Ever. It's the worst thing you can do. Oh. I'm sorry? Sometimes I kind of envy you, Venus. And other times I kind of really don't. Aww. 8 p.m. So I guess we'll do Jupiter and Neptune, because we didn't do that last time. Okay. So let's do that. I guess I'll come. Venus, plug in my phone in. Oh, cool. I mean, if you're that insistent, I don't want to look like a jerk by saying no. Haha, uh-huh, rad. Are you good, Venus? Yeah, I'll unpack. Holler if you need anything. Eh. That construction site, though. This place looks like it was a greenhouse once. But at some point, it was filled with furniture. Like someone tried to live here and gave up. Or died because it was a fucking greenhouse. 
There was a bed that was probably very nice, but is now growing poppies, and blue mushrooms are growing out of a lampshade by the nightstand, so we suppose the shrack is now a greenhouse again. Neptune searches a beautiful, enormous drawer, nurturing an ivy with white, bell-shaped flowers, while Jupiter brushes leaves away to open the doors of a tasteful china kitchen cabinet. There's a new kind of lily in each shelf. This place is honestly the weirdest. Really? Oh, really? Here, come come look. Oh, wow. I'm revising my opinion. Maybe the captain is a true genius. Do you think he did this? I hope not. Then I'd have to like him. Huh. Oh, here. You should see this one. The wood is warped or rotting, which we knew before she put her weight on it, but didn't know well enough, because the door, and then half the cabinet, and then the whole cabinet, slaw away. We pull each other out of the way. The collapse of the cabinet sounds like the wet wood yawning and screaming for a full minute. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, she's crying. I'm fine, I was just... For a moment, it was the funniest thing in the entire world. I mean, of course, right? I just walk in here, and without even trying, instantly cause the biggest possible disaster to happen. It was so pretty, too. And now it's just impossible to put back together, ever. Maybe I'm a genius at getting things wrong, too. <laughs> it is absolutely gone forever, Jupiter. I know, but I should have... Jupiter, I promise on a stack of Bibles it's not your fault, and I will slap your face if you say it was. I will punch you in the face for every word you say. I am so for real. She is for real, too. Huh. Thank you. I wasn't really going to, I promise. Neptune takes her hands off Jupiter's shoulders. We look around. Jupiter snaps her hairband against her wrist. But for a moment after it, feel, after it feels like we are holding each other, we can feel the hands like they're right there in the air. Good. I mean, like, aren't you doing fine? Aren't you trying harder than literally everyone else here? You're so chill about everyone's bullshit, it makes me so mad, and then you won't extend even the slightest of that chill to yourself, and that makes me even so madder. Can't you just be a little less good? I promise. I promise to try, at least. Well, sort of. God. I promise to try. 9 p.m. Neptune and Venus. Uh, fine. You then. Me? Hmm. Dare. Seriously? Yeah, is that okay? Your entire camp experience is defined by someone making you do something awful, and you want to pick Dare? But you won't, right? Venus. That is the most dangerous thing you could have ever said, and it explains everything about why terrible stuff happens to you all the time. Oh. So, do you want to pick something else? Um... But truth is way worse. Truth truth is just as embarrassing, but with a dare you could get hurt, right? See, Jupiter gets it. Would you pick truth too? Absolutely. I don't want to move or do anything, and there's nothing you can think of to ask me that would be embarrassing. Hmm. I think I still want to pick dare, though. Does. I mean, it's kind of like Jupiter said. Truth is embarrassing, and dares could get you hurt. Getting hurt is way less scary. Damn. It's almost pretty clever. But what if I dared you to do something really embarrassing? Well, uh... I could make you wear a skirt or run around the lake or call Group South the worst thing you could think of. These are so boring and obvious, too. Think if I had some imagination, Venus. It could get so much worse. Being awful is so trivial. It's easy beyond easy. Should I pick truth, then? Tell me who you have a crush on. What's your worst fear? Who do you hate the most? See? This is so easy. Get it. I can... <coughs> I swear to God. I... <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> uh... It doesn't matter which I pick? You're still at their mercy. It's a bad game. I'm sorry. I don't know what to... Oh, uh, you can't just apologize. Wait, I got it. I dare you not to say sorry for the rest of the night. Oh my god! I can do that. Can he, though? No, it's perfect. It'll fix something annoying, and this will make everyone's life easier, and all of us win. 
Is it really annoying? You shouldn't have to apologize for things you don't need to apologize for. Sorry. Ew. That. So what happens now? Nothing, because this game is stupid and sucks and forget it. Sorry. That's. That's. That was on purpose. Jokes? Ha ha ha. Ha, seriously though, do stop. Well, this is awkward. 10 p.m. Do Neptune and Venus? Yeah. Yeah. I'll stay. Oh, okay. This is so unfair. It'll be fine. They won't get me that easily. I'll broadcast from my radio and you'll be able to hear it and come home. It won't be hard. But I don't want to do it. We leave Jupiter swinging her radio and tuning the house radio. Creepy the trails woods. through the woods are wide and precise. Camp is supposed to be an easy adventure. The minimum expectations are low. Don't walk off the path. Keep the lights on. Don't let the devil in your heart. Anyone can do that. Well, I guess that didn't work. We were so close, though. We c totally could have gotten her to let us all stay. Oh. Hmm? Oh, I know. Sorry. I tried, started trying to convince her we should stay once I realized what you were doing. She likes being alone, though, so I think she'll be okay. It's fine. It was a silly to try. She's so ir she's so responsible. Too responsible. Can I read? That'd be great. Do you he think she hates us? It's not even her fault she's at the Summer Scouts. Like it's ours. Venus, can you shut up? Please? Oh. Sorry. Jupiter doesn't hate anyone. She's like an... Ascetic. Ascetic monk at not giving a shit. People stop walking over her because she doesn't care enough to, for them to get a rise, and that's the only reason people do that. It's so annoying. Why do you care about what she thinks? I don't know. I think she's cool. I don't want to be a bother. Ugh, of course she's cool. She's just ha all half-smile and, ah, oh, sorry, and no one bugs her about anything ever. Do you not kind of hate that she's so cool? Why? I wish I could be like that. Because it's fake. No one is that invincible. If it hurts, you should say so. People are supposed to get hurt by things. It's fucked up not to, or to not. It's not good for you. You too, Venus. Have a little more self-respect. I know that. It's not like I'm stupid, you know? I worry about her too, you know? Don't you want to at least make stuff a little easier for her? No. I don't, I want to make it worse. I want to make it so bad she, that she has to say it. I want her to hear it out loud. She shouldn't keep living like she's never going to get off the tip of her tongue. Get it off the tip of her tongue. Like she's never going to get it off the tip of her tongue. Dads. I don't think she's ever going to. I really do wish I was like her a little, but still, I'm a little glad I'm not her. I wonder if maybe she wishes sometimes she wasn't her either. Maybe. A lot, I bet. Maybe all the time. Do you ever feel like that? Do I ever what? Sorry, I... What do you? I... I do, yeah. Let's head back. Sometimes, I do too. It's normal. Let's just get over it. They both want to be her. That's a really awkward. No, they both don't want to be themselves. I think. Oh, I misinterpreted my bad. Or Venus and Neptune, I mean. Sure. Because we did this. Yeah. Venus, you go. Me? Um, no, I really shouldn't. Thank you for offering, but I am. Venus. You are drinking with us. But we'll get in trouble and it's not allowed and it's illegal. I think you are having a problem understanding the situation here, Venus. Just by being in the same room with this bottle, you are already an accomplice. You will be held just as responsible if we're found out. They won't care at all if you didn't drink. You're already guilty, sweetie. Sweetie? Sweetie? Sweaty. Sweaty. Uh, um... So how about you just give in and drink? Well, I... Besides, Jupiter thinks this is going to kill us, so please prove it won't. This is an important service you are doing. Um, no promises that I will live. I won't let you if you don't. Cheers. 
Ow, this is bad. Uh, come on. Come on. Can't you at least put on a good face? Thanks, everyone. All my doubts are cleared. I feel like my stomach is trying to punch me in the face. Be tougher, please. No. I refuse, utterly. <laughs> what? Are you drunk? Lies. Venus, you are absolutely totally drunk. Teetotally? This is historic. I'm not at all. I'll take another shot and prove it. Somehow. You are completely on. God, it's actually worse. I feel nothing. I'm a wall. <coughs> Why the fuck is she coughing? Maybe she's just sick. How does anyone live long enough to get used to this? It's crazy. I can't believe you at all. You were so scandalized a minute ago, and yet you are literally the drunkest person in this whole universe right now. You're a jerk, Neptune. You know what your problem is? Ha! <laughs> You're gonna tell me? Oh, please do, Venus. I'm so ready. Your problem is that you hate yourself. Hashtag deep. Ha! <laughs> Duh, Venus. Everyone feels like that. You're going to have to do way better. No, true. Uh, it was <laughs> true. something right, about how, like, you treat hating yourself like a competition. I totally had it. Sure you did, hon. Drink up. Jesus, this is awful. I think I'm warming up to it. <laughs> I'm lying. It feels like death. <laughs> it feels like death. But, like, nice and sugary. Nice and sugary death. I don't care about anything, and it's so great. Hi, Dorian. You know what your problem is? It's that you... <laughs> it's that you cough. Apparently. That you... <coughs> you... <coughs> oh, God. Help. <coughs> I can't... <coughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no. What? <coughs> Bath. <coughs> Room. I'm gonna throw... I got you. I promise. Jupiter, come help. No, just help me. Okay, okay. So she wouldn't let Jupiter help her, but she's letting Venus help her, which is interesting. Uh -huh. This is so awful. Help me. Why won't it stop? It'll be okay. I don't think we drink that much. It's not the... Oh, God. Hurt. Oh, no. Go away, Venus. Go away. No, you have to... Oh, Neptune. What? I said go away. Neptune, what's going on? I said it's fine. It's a lot. It's a lot worse than you said. It's still fine, I promise, I swear. Venus, I promise I'm not lying about this one, I promise. It'll be way better tomorrow, okay? We just have to get through it. Please just... Don't tell Jupiter. Okay. I won't tell her. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. That's... Venus, your problem is that you are very nice. But you want something. And you think being nice is going to give it to you. But it never will. And until you figure out what it is you want, every kindness of yours will be full of what you want. Of that want. Of that want. Like mine is. Dots. Dots. Your problem, Neptune, is you think being mean is more honest. But you're just as bad as Jupiter. And me. We are bad kids, aren't we? I hope no one finds out. Me neither. So she gets Deep. possessed no matter what, but it's what? dependent on how... Why do you think she's getting possessed? Yes, Jupiter and Neptune. Oh my god. Have you still not figured out how we're getting... What do you mean? Well, like, the ending is excluding the person we want. Yeah. So I hope we're excluding her enough. Yeah, because we've been... Who, uh, Jupiter? Jupiter? Yeah, because just when we have to be Jupiter, we pick someone. Um, where are you? Haha. <laughs> Oops, I think this is a broom. Wow, how dare you confuse me with a broom. Oh no. Just kidding, I'm here. I'm here, right here. Right here, she like moved on in. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, I see. No, you don't. Bitch, it's dark. I guess. Or I feel. Or I, I feel, I guess. Oh, I thought it just added, I guess. My bad. I can't see. We are close. It's close. Yeah. 
So, um, Neptune? Shh. No, I... Here. Ah. Uh, oh. Wow. I... It's not real if we don't say it out loud, right? That's right. No one can prove it. Lesbians. No one except us. It's your word against mine. A double lock, so it never happened unless we both say it did. Neither of us is going to be that stupid, right? Of course. We both know better. I'm, um, kind of an idiot, though. You liar. You're much better at keeping yourself quiet. I never would have if I knew you might be stupider than even me. Sorry. I'm just so... Some things can't be taken back. There are things worse than saying it directly, you know. Like, this feels right? And I'm just so happy. Exactly. What are you thinking, saying things like that? I'm not... I'm not saying them. They're things anyone could have said about anybody. They're just in the air. You mean so much to me. Anyone could have said that about anyone. Damn. Not that I'm saying it. You get it. The Midwest is great. All you have to do is not say it out loud. It's like a spell. And you can be as obvious as you want about everything else. You can wait it out forever, as long as you don't say it. I hope I can. Are they saying they're going to be closeted forever? Or are they getting yes, deeper than that? Oh, okay. Basically. But even if I don't say it, I still feel it. Like a hand in the air. Holding tight. It's okay. Is it? I said it's okay, so it's okay. Stop talking. Stop talking forever. Damn. I'm drunk, you're drunk. <laughs> Can't see anything. Double lock. I thought Nothing she didn't drink. Happening. Your hands, either way, are nice. You're right. This is nothing. Ah. And so is this. Oh. This too. You get it. Oh, exactly. Just nothing. Six. Like that hand in the air. You might think you're feeling it, but... It's nothing. It's nothing. Ow. And they bang. Oh my god, it was seven minutes. <laughs> A lot can happen in seven minutes, River. Neptune and Venus? Yep. All right. That's sad. We gave them a moment, but then we're ripping it away from them. Well. I guess I'm going. Scream if something horrible happens. Do the same, please. As loud as possible. Arg! Like that? The worst. Try harder, or I won't save you next time. Haha. -ha. See you guys later. She's okay, I guess. Does that mean you like her? Just work on the radio. Oh. Um. Is that a no? Are you trolling me on p literal purpose? A little. Wow, Venus, I'm almost impressed. Venus's eyes right now are super cute. You are, deep down, kind of a little shit. I didn't mean it in a mean way. I wasn't teasing. That's so much worse, Venus. I guess I just don't get it. I don't like being mean, and I don't want to be mean, so I try really hard not to be mean. I don't get any of the just kidding, because it's not just kidding, it's just mean. Does it really not bother you when everyone else is mean- when everyone is mean to you? No. I couldn't care less. They are all just implying- they are all just simply bad at it. What are they going to make to- what are they going to make fun of me for? Thoughts? I dare you to answer that question. No, I wasn't gonna say anything. Seriously, you totally can, though. I'm an evil bad slut, right? I'm a bitch and a flirt. I'm a bitch because I let people know when they are t walking over me. And I'm a flirt because boys keep talking at me. And this is somehow my problem, because they can't get over themselves or leave me alone. How is that fair? Why should I get hurt by that? It makes me so mad. Why would I be anything but mad about all this stupid obnoxious bullshit? Oh... Get it? Yeah, I think so. I feel I, like I shouldn't get mad, though. Like, you're supposed to turn the other cheek. Ever think people who love to say that just love slapping people? Yeah. 
But you don't have to be like that, you know. You're the only boy I hear I can stand. So I guess keep doing whatever it is that lets you stay that way. Thanks. You too. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I noticed she was smirking too and not really quote unquote mad. Yeah. A hand held against the world. To touch and to touch, to be touched and to touch. Touch is a language unto itself. And it too is a language of power. Thus unto Jupiter, which uh, is also the language of gravity, according. That's new. The fist which can give takes too, and gives by taking, or takes by giving. Just as a word is honest or dishonest, not by how it is spoken, but by he who speaks it, so is the honesty of touch. What a waste of time. Shh, let's, uh, let's listen. Whatever. Each of you shall choose it is certain the devil is coming. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the same. Now we will find out! Won't we? I'll find out if River's been lying to me. Why would I have been lying to you? I don't know. We know the devil. Jupiter has a feeling about her. Like she knows too. The house creaks. Like someone is squeezing it gently to see how much it can take before it breaks. We look at it, Jupiter, and we worry. She's even more far away than usual. What do we do? We're expecting her to know. But right now, she looks so tired. She just snaps her hairband against her wrist. And we know. We can wait. Can we? Sure we can. We keep wait we can keep waiting. Dawn is three hours away, right? It'll be here before we know it. We don't need to know wh who the devil is. It's just a phase, right? Come on, you're supposed to agree. It's a good idea. Make fun of me, then go along with it. Please? Um, we... We know. It's obvious. I know you know. I didn't think you were dumb, I just was hoping. We can feel it. It's like a moth flapping its wings, but I can feel fingers on my face and my arms and everywhere. Huh? <laughs> gross. I'm gross. I feel so distant. When did it happen? It feels like just a few hours ago everything was fine. Huh, this always happens. I always do this every time. I'm so stupid. I'm so... Uh, my hairband broke. There's a horrible sound. The terrible noise of splitting and creaking wood. Tearing wood. It's tearing wood, I'm sorry. Oh. It's sick. The house shivers. Mm. Huh. We can't reach her. We can't speak. Not in this storm of hands. Don't touch me! You shouldn't touch me! I wasn't born good. But still, I thought I could be... You know, I actually liked when the captain talked about how heaven was on a merit. As long as you do good things, maybe you can one day be good. But then they said we didn't, we don't believe that anymore, and it's only what's in our heart that matters. Just when I thought I got it right, they changed it. I can try hard, but I think God knows my heart isn't really in it. And that was only, my only shot, right? Mom taught me not to touch others. It's just polite, you know? My dad taught me not to t let others touch me. You gotta respect yourself. You gotta protect yourself if you're a girl, you know? But it's only what I feel inside that matters. What am I supposed to do? I can't stop that kind of touch. So what if I s just stopped trying not to, you know? It feels so strange and weird and bad to stop, but I could, I really could, I think. And how nice that would be. The humidity is thick with hands. We feel the sweat peeling off of us, and the hands grasping. The devil comes in heat, not like a chill in the middle of the night. The devil sticks to your skin and seeps in your pores. The devil licks at your throat, inside, outside, follows wherever you go. Even the best kid has the devil inside her. This is why we are at camp. We are learning this lesson. Even the worst kids can get lucky and live, while the good kid is doomed just from trying too hard. We hold each other. If you can't, if you really can't, Jupiter, then... We don't care. We don't care. You can be like that, and that's fi it's fine. You know we're like that too, right? We feel that like that all the time. We would have just given up if it wasn't for you. Y'all are sweet, but don't do that. I won't be happy if you do. 
And I won't let you. It's wrong to want such a thing. You know that? Don't you? So don't do it. I still know that much. Stop looking up at stop looking up to me. We don't look up to you. We never did. We promise. So please I Oh, sorry. So please. Something. Don't try to make me feel better. I want to touch. I want to be touched. I want to hurt. I want to be hurt. And if you feel the same way, you're as bad as me. I was hoping you'd say, get behind me, or I rebuke you, like you're supposed to. Won't you just let me feel like a real devil for a moment? We, we don't... No, oh, that's you. We don't have to like it. At least give us that much. <laughs> okay. That was a weird change. Did I accidentally pick the good? No, that's not a good ending. No. Okay. Oh. Oh. On Jupiter, there's an... I forgot about that! <laughs> On uh, Jupiter, there's an ancient storm bigger than Earth that's been blowing since before we were born. There's no way to imagine it. It is a storm that could consume everyone you knew, everywhere they had been, the sight of every thought and feeling humans have ever had. Jupiter reaches out to us. She has a hand for every kind of touch, that hand is for hitting, this hand is for petting, that hand is for grabbing, that hand is for holding. We feel the pull on our skin and recoil. They want so many things from us. Maybe everything. The devil is lonely. We kicked out the devil and it must miss us. It keeps begging to be let back, for us to let it in. And Jupiter did. Every wish of the body it belongs to. And every wish is a hand expressing that desire. And every hand is a storm that is bigger than the world, reaching for us. But it will not. The hands don't touch us, and the storm doesn't break over us. We chose to be distant from her. And the devil only ever gets one moment. For revenge. For love. For please take me back. There is nothing to fear when there is two against the devil. Neptune rings the water. Her radio cackles and bubbles and foams at its sharpest edge. Venus brings the light. His radio whines and wriggles and coils around itself. A radio scream and crash against her, and the devil is destroyed. Well, that's a lot of hands. That was a lot, that was a lot of hands. It's like four hands. That's a creepy picture. Did she do it on purpose? Maybe a little. Or maybe a lot. At least a little. Jupiter just looks so peaceful. It was the first thing that came to mind. We both thought it would be us. So it still feels strange to be looking at her like this. Not in a bad way. We're not upset at her. We just want to know why. Because it was so clear for us. Back when we were talking to the campfire. Walking. Walking to the campfire. I thought it would be me. I was so sure. This is awkward because we made it her first. I guess I'm wrong sometimes. For me it was, I think, when we were putting up the lights, I already saw it in the corner of my eye. And then when Group South came, I felt so, well, you know. Yeah, I know. The smell of incense is awful enough in here, but outside the tent, the groups are tying rags to their faces to endure the smell while they try to smoke the whole forest out. We have the privilege of being on watch. It shouldn't have been her. Normally you're like, don't patronize me. No, you are right. It should have been one of us. Either one of us. I don't care which. Damn it, I should, we should have done Venus first then. Well, too late. Jupiter moves in her sleep. Venus moves a candle out of her way. You're very attentive. Thanks. I keep thinking. Don't worry about it. We are going to... What are we going to do? Fight over which of us hates ourselves more? What's the point? Neither of us can beat her. We hold hands. Or, it turned out, we already were. Aww. And that's Jupiter getting possessed! Rip. Oh, you got oh we one. got the hidden one! Things she said running through my head, running through my head. 
All the things she said. All the things she said. All the things she said running through my head. Oh my God. Why is Tattoo's song lyric the title? Also, now I know about Tattoo. So now this doesn't actually make me happy. Yeah, now it kind of makes me a little angry. But Kiss and Don't Tell been. is the achievement it's we unlocked. put those two in the, together. It's putting Jupiter and Neptune together. Yeah. So we got no, no prince, prince for, for the, the princesses. princesses. Get the red ending. So we still have the yellow ending and the true ending. Yep. Yeah.